Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today we're going to be taking a look at the toughest, probably the most unique, and definitely the most expensive scope that I've ever reviewed on the channel. This is the Elcan 139. Okay, so the Elcan Spectre 139, like I was saying before, this is one of the most unique and definitely the toughest scope that I've ever shown on the channel. This thing was essentially designed for military use, and it is, for the most part, bomb-proof. I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible when it comes to durability. Now, you're going to pay for that durability. It's also a very expensive scope. This one right here happens to be for 7.62. They make one for 5.56. They make one for 7.62. I got the 7.62 here on my 308. Now, this one right here is kind of a beast. Okay, it's a little bit longer and a little bit bigger than the L cans that you guys might be used to. You're probably used to the one to fours, or at least seeing the one to fours. This one right here is a 139. Now you notice that I don't say one, two, three. 29 it's a 139 so it only has three settings at its lowest setting it's a 1x power which means no magnification and at that setting it has a standard red dot then you go ahead and you flip a dial i'll show you guys on this side you go ahead and you flip a dial it goes from one to three and then after that it goes from three to nine there is no in between setting so you either have it set on one you have it set on three or you have it set on nine again when you're at one which is no magnification it works just like a red dot it's got a nice bright red reticle when you switch it over to three it gives you a little bit of ballistic drop compensation and at three power you can kind of stretch it out a little bit when you turn it up to nine power it actually brings the reticle a little bit up closer to you gives you a little bit more bullet drop compensation and allows you to reach much further out and it's really fast so instead of having a dial that would be back here typically so you have like your one it'll go all the way to nine you kind of twist it between those power settings this one right here i can just flip it like this or nine three one one red dot three nine i can bring it all the way up to the top in just a matter of you know a fraction of a second and bring it all the way up to its fastest magnification on the other side it has your illuminations five different illumination settings gets all the way down to night vision settings and then at five which is the brightest it's very easily day visible now with the different reticle options and the different zoom options versus your traditional scope it's going to look a little bit different when you go through those settings as well so again with a traditional scope if you're looking through it and you go ahead and you dial the magnification, you're gonna see that your target gets closer and closer to you. The field of view kind of shrinks, but the image gets a little bit bigger. With this one right here, it's almost like one of those little toy cameras where you would click through and it would switch frames. That's what it looks like when you're looking through here. So you're looking at your target, you got a red dot. Then you go ahead and you switch it to 3X and it's almost like a frame changes. The red dot disappears and a reticle shows up in the optic. It's really neat how this thing works. The engineering is incredible. And then again, when you're going from three power to nine power, six times more magnification, then it does the same thing. Basically, you'll see the reticle disappear and then reappear with more magnification. So it is really impressive the way that this thing's engineered. But one thing to keep in mind, since this thing was created to be bomb proof, I mean, it's a really tough optic, it's also a little bit heavy. This thing comes in at about 30 ounces. So it's a little bit on the heavy side. I believe that's around 1.9 pounds or something like that. So it is a, a little bit heavy. I believe it's just over 10 inches long, almost 11 inches long. Now, in the way that you adjust this optic right here, you'll notice that on the optic itself, you'll see here we have our magnification 
rotation settings. On this side, we have our brightness settings, and then there is nothing on top. So you actually adjust the windage and elevation through the mount. So when you get this thing, the mount is included, the mount is built in, and it's actually part of the optic. And so what happens is when you want to make your adjustments, you actually use the mount that you see right here. It's got some knurling around the back, and on the front, there is also another one. So we have our windage and elevation built into the mount. And so the mount stays steady you actually move the scope with the mount itself. So the scope actually moves the mount up and down, left and right, in order for you to get your perfect zero. That way, when you take it off of one rifle and you put it on another one, it's gonna re-zero itself perfect because the mount never changed. You go ahead and you push that thing up, you re-zero the mount, and then if you need to make any changes, again, you use the knob and the dials in order to re-zero the scope. So it's really unique, not only in the way that the magnification and everything works, but it's also very unique in the fact that it doesn't use a traditional interior design to move the reticle itself. The entire scope moves. Now, when you get the Elcan Spectre 139, it already comes with the scope caps pre-installed. One of the nice things about these caps right here is that you're not going to have to worry about that scope cap with the recoil coming back and uh, just kind of tapping you in the head or becoming an annoyance. You can actually take the cap, push it down a little bit more, and the caps will actually stay locked down. So you'll actually have to put pressure on it in order to get that scope cap to come back. So they're really, really nice scope caps. Great coatings, excellent glass. I mean, this thing's absolutely incredible. One of my favorite features of this scope is the fact that it is 100% 1x magnification. That means that there is no magnification at all. And that's because when you turn the dial to go to the simple red dot, there it takes away all the magnification from the rifle. So when you look through it and you are looking through at that 1x, it's a true 1x. You look through it with both eyes open and the image in front of you through either eye is exactly the same. Again, they took out all the magnification. So it's not like the magnification is there and they dial it back as far as possible. It's just completely gone. And then when you go to three or you go to nine power, your magnification is back and it's a nice clear image. Um, it doesn't really have that much leeway in uh, you know in terms of parallax and where you where you get your head set so you want to make sure that you practice with this thing to make sure you understand exactly where your cheek weld is going to be and that's because this scope also has <laughs> I would say that it's not forgiving eye relief. Okay, so when you're talking about eye relief on this, it goes anywhere from about 2.75 inches to three inches. That 2.75 inches is gonna be when you're dialed up to nine times. And so 2.75 inches, I'm usually right about here and I get a good cheek weld on it. Obviously, when you dial it down to the 1X magnification, then you can bring your head back a little bit further, but you wanna make sure that you kinda of keep that shadow to a minimum or just not even a, you know apparent at all to make sure that your parallax is correct. So keeping the right cheek weld on this thing is a little bit difficult, but after some practice, it's not a problem at all. Now, this Elcan Spectre 139 was sent to the channel by Optics Planet. These guys are a big supporter of the channel. They help me out a lot with these different reviews. There's no way I could show this to you guys without Optics Planet because this is, like I said before, a very expensive scope. For instance, if you were to get the one that's for 556, that thing comes in at over $3,000. It is very expensive. This one is nearly $1,000 less for the 762 model, but still comes in at over $2,000. So it is a very expensive scope, but again, when it comes to stuff like this and military grade equipment, you really do get what you pay for. This is essentially like a Trigicon ACOG as far as toughness goes, but in a scope slash zero power uh, magnification optic. It's just incredible the amount of features that they've built into this thing, while at the same time keeping it as strong as it is. So again, you're kind of paying that high price, and I know a lot of people cannot afford to get up there, but still, if you can, you're getting something that's gonna last you forever. Now, I know there's gonna be people out there that wanna know whether or not it's first or second focal plane, and to be honest with you, it's not really either, just because of the way the magnification is set up, but if I had to put it in one category, I would say it's more of a first focal plane scope, and the reason that I say that is because the reticle that is used on the three power setting is the same reticle that's used at the nine power setting, and it magnifies that reticle. So at three power, you can see the reticle, but it's kind of small, it's still easy to make out, and you can make your shots off it, but when you bring it up to nine, it takes that same reticle and it magnifies it so that you can see out. So it is more of a first focal plane type scope. If it was second focal plane, obviously the reticle would stay the same, uh, whether you're on three or nine. 
Now, because of YouTube's policies, I can't link to any of this stuff anymore or give you guys coupon codes. So I went ahead and I created my own website. That'll be the first link down in the description box. If you click that, it'll take you to the website where you'll see this video right here. There will be all of the links, all the coupon codes associated with this. Also, a lot of other videos, a lot of other optics videos, Second Amendment information, deals of the day, and so forth. So it's definitely worth checking out. Also, below that, there's a link to the Firearms Policy Coalition, who is a sponsor of this channel. If you can, make sure that you either A, become a member, or donate when you can, because these guys are out there fighting every single day to try and restore our Second Amendment rights. And I can tell you, these guys work very, very hard at what they do. So I want to give a big thank you to them. If you could support them, it would definitely help out a lot. Anyway guys, this is the Elcan Spectre 139. I should also mention that if you don't follow me on Facebook and you like some of these optics but they're outside of your price range, I sell a lot of these over on Facebook so that I can afford to buy the next thing. And a lot of times you'll see this stuff for maybe even half off or more. So it just depends. So follow me over on Facebook. Again, I'll put a link to Facebook down below. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.